The Argentinian Dogo is a large, white, muscular breed of dog that was developed in Argentina primarily for the purpose of big game hunting, including wild boar. The breeder, Antonio Norz Martinez, also wanted a dog that would exhibit steadfast bravery and willingly protect its human companion. It was first bred in 1928 from the Cordoba Fighting Dog, along with a wide array of other breeds, including the Great Dane. Dogo Argentino is the main national treasure of the country, since it is officially recognized as the only breed bred in Argentina. This snow white aristocrat is distinguished by a strong physique, which, coupled with excellent professional qualities, makes the breed versatile for carrying out service and carrying out rescue and search operations. Along with this, the Dogo Argentino will become a loyal companion, taking an active part in the life of the owner and delighting him with well trained teams. Highlights From the first day of its existence, the breed has been used for hunting large game. The imposing size of the animals contrasts with their good natured and affectionate nature. Dogo Argentino is very stubborn and dominant, therefore not suitable for inexperienced dog breeders. Perfectly copes with the duties of a watchman and bodyguard. Representatives of the breed get along well with children, but still you should not leave this cheerful company unattended. It is not recommended to keep the Great Dane together with other animals, especially cats and decorative rodents. Dogs do not require careful grooming, but it should still be constant. History of the Dogo Argentino Breed Despite the fact that the breed is quite young and has existed for about a hundred years, its history began long before that, namely from the 16th century, the stage of the Spanish conquest. Together with a desperate desire to seize the lands of the New World, the army armed and huge fierce dogs, which kept the local population in fear because of their indomitable disposition and rare bloodthirstiness. Basically, these animals represented a now defunct breed, the Cordoba fighting dog. However, among the imported ones, there were also more peaceful Alano Spanish Bulldogs, which are common in their homeland to this day. It is worth noting that in those troubled times, fighting pits were popular, in which dogs fought to the last drop of blood. The center of this business was the city of Cordoba. Wanting to acquire new specimens that would be distinguished by extreme ferocity and endurance, the Spaniards crossed Bull Terriers and Alano. This alliance gave birth to the Cordoba fighting dog, which later became a legend of bloodthirsty massacres, since in most cases it snatched victory from an opponent with its teeth, and often literally. The breed practically did not participate in mating, as even dogs of different sexes showed hostility towards each other. In the 18th century, an economic crisis reigned in the British Isles, and the state was forced to conduct active foreign trade. Among her partners was Argentina, which at that time had already changed the status of a Spanish colony to an independent confederation. Along with the goods, fighting dogs came to the lands of Foggy Albion, Staffbulls, Bull Terriers and the above-mentioned Cordoba dogs. Unfortunately, the latter did not take root in Europe. Over time, the fighting dogs of Cordoba completely disappeared, but before that they managed to make a significant contribution to the creation of a new breed. She became the Dogo Argentino. Dogo Argentino, the second name of the dog, is the triumph of Antonio and Augustin Martinez, sons of a wealthy landowner. Avid hunters use the Cordoba dog as an assistant, an extremely ferocious and bloodthirsty creature. At the same time, young men could count on participating in the persecution of a maximum of two animals due to their quarrelsome nature, the fighting dogs of Cordoba did not want to gather in a pack and work in a team. Awareness of this fact was the first bell that heralded the emergence of the Argentinian Mastiff. Work on the creation of the breed began in 1925, when Antonio barely crossed the threshold of majority. The Martinez brothers set themselves a seemingly impossible task to bring out a dog with outstanding physical characteristics, excellent flair and an attractive exterior. Moreover, she must have a balanced character, which does not imply aggression towards humans and other dogs. Wanting to create a solid foundation for a new breed, Antonio and Augustin acquired 10 Cordoba bitches, not as angry as males, and mated them with dogs that they saw the desired qualities, speed, hunting instincts, height and sense of smell. Decent breeds for mating are the Great Dane and Bordeaux, the English Pointer, the Irish Wolfhound and the Great Pyrenean Dog. It is worth noting that long before the positive result of his canine experiment, Antonio formulated the first breed standard, based on his own vision. The brothers were greatly supported by their father, who hired people to care for the dogs, while his sons were away from home. In addition, friends showed interest in the new breed, who often fed the animals and made a voluntary material contribution. Everyone wanted to acquire a representative of a new hunting breed that would be able to work in the company of their relatives and would not show excessive ferocity towards them. For 30 years, Antonio and Augustine polished the exterior of the Argentine. 
At the same time, two branches of the breed were formed, the Aracana, from crossing with the Dogue de Bordeaux, and Warani, offspring from the Irish Wolfhound. However, a hybrid of two lines became the prototype of the modern Argentinian Mastiff, so that in its pure form they have not survived to this day. The death of Antonio Martinez, while hunting in the middle of the 20th century brought chaos to breed selection. Most breeders began to crossbreed dogs uncontrollably, which pretty much spoiled the Gino and phenotype of Dogo Argentino. Only Augustine was able to return the process of breeding dogs back on track. By the way, he was also involved in the popularization of the breed. Martinez Jr. worked at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and presented the ambassadors with an unusual but very valuable gift, Argentinian Dogo puppies. The man believed that this kind of presentation is one of the most effective ways to glorify dogs all over the world. And so it happened, already in May 1964, the breed was officially registered by representatives of the Kennel Federation of Argentina. Nine years later, the FC First International Organization recognized the Dogo Argentino breed standard. At the same time, the breed gained popularity in European countries, mostly thanks to Otto Schimpf. The Austrian dog handler was fascinated by the proud carriage of dogs and was instrumental in their spread across European territory. Dogo Argentino, Description of the Breed Dogo Argentino is the embodiment of beauty, grace, stats and ideal proportions. A distinctive feature can be considered a powerful, well-developed, muscular chest. In representatives of this breed, sexual dimorphism is not very pronounced, females are slightly lighter and smaller than males. The height of the body at the withers of males is 68 to 69 centimeters, of females 65 to 66 centimeters. Body weight of males 45 to 46 kilograms, bitches 40 to 41 kilograms. Features and characteristics of the Great Dane, powerful, strong head with a massive, prominent forehead. The muzzle is rather large, protrudes somewhat forward. The tip of the nose is colored black. The nostrils are large, set wide apart, powerful, large jaws with an iron grip. The bite can be straight or scissor bite. The teeth are large, white, very sharp. The lips are fleshy, with flex. On the volumetric muzzle there are small, almond-shaped eyes. They are most often nutty, or dark brown in color, far removed from each other. The ears are set high on the crown. They are pointed to the tips, have a triangular shape. The neck is short, massive, straight, the scruff can be clearly seen on it. The body is massive, large, tucked up with well-developed muscles. Wide, massive chest area, the line of the back, is even and straight, slightly inclined towards the croup. Dogs have a long, saber-shaped tail. It is somewhat thicker at the base and tapers towards the end. The limbs are strong, straight, located strictly parallel to each other. Round paws. The coat is smooth, short, pure white. The breed standard assumes triangular cropped ears. However, not all owners are eager to subject their pet to surgery. Sinologists and veterinarians recommend carrying out this procedure no later than 3-3.5 months. Popular colors of Dogo Argentino. Scientists originally from Argentina, the Martinez brothers strove to develop a unique purebred dog breed that would not be like everyone else that existed at that time. Their goal was achieved. According to the breed standard compiled by the brothers, the dog did not have many color variations. Purebred Great Dane should be painted white. No other color scheme is provided. White color does not mean at all that the Dogo Argentino dog is an albino. According to the standard, a dark spot is allowed in the area of one eye. The size of such a spot should not cover more than one-tenth of the surface of the head. In most cases, even dogs that have an acceptable size for such a dark spot in the eye area will be considered a minor option when choosing a pet or as a mating partner. All other color options are regarded as a marriage, and in no case are they allowed to mate. Fun fact, a clean, uniform white color is considered the gold standard, the hallmark of the breed. That is why the Argentine Great Danes are also called the White Death. There is one more name for the representatives of this breed, White Angel of Death. Dogs are called so for their pure, noble white color and huge jaws with an iron grip. In the description of the breed standard, on the recommendation of the International Kennel Federation, it is indicated that a deviation from a snow white color towards a light cream or milky shade is allowed. The Nature and Habits of Dogo Argentino Dog breeders point out that the Dogo Argentino is a living example of a repulsive and intimidating appearance, behind which is kindness and loyalty. Huge jaws, impressive dimensions, sporty appearance and many other signs inspire fear and distrust. However, in practice, this is a very kind and affectionate animal that simply adores its owner and all members of his family. Dogo Argentino become reliable, loyal friends and companions. They will never once again disturb the owners without good reason, they will not bark just like that or cause inconvenience. Representatives of this breed tend to demand attention, love, affection and attention. 
They are very fond of tactile contact with a person, they love to climb into their arms, and just like that, practically in an embrace with the owner to sleep. If this behavior is unacceptable, it is best not to have a mastiff. Such dogs are recommended for those who already have sufficient experience with dogs. The owner must feel and understand his pet. By nature, Great Danes have a sense of leadership, a desire to dominate in some situations. They also like to lead an active lifestyle and need constant maintenance of physical shape, hone hunting skills. Representatives of this breed guard their territory very jealously. When entering their property, they must notify the owner of this with a loud bark. These dogs are often used as reliable bodyguards. The history describes cases when Great Danes fearlessly entered into a duel even with large predators and became the winners. Interesting fact, another advantage of the breed is that Great Danes get along well with children, which cannot be said about other pets. Finding various small animals and birds is highly undesirable, since dogs have a very well-developed hunting instinct. An exception can be made only by some breeds of dogs with which the puppy grew up together. Argentine dogs cannot be called demanding on conditions of detention. Dogs have a variety of traits required for training. Interesting facts about the Argentine Mastiffs. Many interesting and very interesting facts are associated with this breed. In 10 countries of the world, representatives of this breed are under an official ban. Often these dogs are called Dogo Argentino or Argentine Mastiffs. Dogs of this breed are considered a national treasure of Argentina. For some time, these dogs were used for police service, but later this was banned, since in the process of arresting criminals, the dogs inflict severe injuries on them. Today they are used for service in the bodies only in their homeland. Dogs of this breed combine two absolutely opposite qualities, huge immeasurable love for the owner and aggression, and even cruelty to offenders. The specificity of the jaw structure allows you to inflict serious injuries in a split second. Each owner must win the love and respect of his pet until he reaches the age of one. In many regions, there is an opinion that the Argentinian Great Dane is a fighting dog breed. However, this is a delusion. Although in many countries of America and Asia they are regularly used as participants in dog fights. As a result of breeding, about a dozen different breeds of dogs were used. Dogo Argentino are lovers of naughty, fun, fun games. That is why they will become good reliable friends to young children. It is necessary to communicate with a dog on an equal basis to respect its mental and physical abilities. It is not recommended to raise your voice to her, as the Great Danes do not like and do not tolerate such treatment. Pros and Cons of Great Danes Before you start a Great Dane, you need to familiarize yourself with the advantages and disadvantages of the breed. It is worth noting that the dog is not suitable for everyone, so be sure to weigh all the pros and cons. Breed Advantages Noble, Aristocratic Appearance Devotion and Ability to Become a Good Companion Friend Strength Courage Endurance Excellent scent and hunting skills. Dogo Argentino is an excellent and very reliable guard, in some cases it can even be a bodyguard. The dog is undemanding to conditions of maintenance, care. Get along well with children of almost any age. Rarely gives voice, barks loudly in exceptional cases. In addition to the above advantages, the breed has a number of disadvantages that must be considered when choosing a pet. Disadvantages of the breed. The dog requires a lot of attention, they need constant tactile contact. Dogo Argentino does not tolerate cold, severe frost. All representatives of this breed are prone to the development of allergic reactions. Not all Great Danes are easy to train and train. Dogs tend to show leadership and dominate. Does not get along with other pets, especially small animals and birds. It is inclined to defend and defend its territory, often enters into cancer with other breeds of dogs. If a dog gets to people who do not have the skills of raising and communicating with animals, it can become a real threat to others. Argentinian Great Dane Care. Argentine Mastiffs are not too demanding on conditions of detention. The only conditions are cleanliness, hygiene procedures, and the provision of the necessary space. When organizing a place for keeping an animal, it is necessary to take into account that Argentines cannot be kept at home. It is best if it is a house, not an apartment. Basic dog care activities. The dog needs to comb the coat several times a week. In the process of malting, you must use a special brush with hard fibers. After walking down the street in wet and rainy weather, the dog needs to wash its paws. The owner must take care of and monitor the condition of the ears. Remove excess sulfur with a damp cloth or cotton swab. If the owner noticed that the dog shakes his head or scratches his ear, you should immediately contact the veterinarian. No additional care is required for the dog's eyes. If mucus accumulates in them, you must additionally rinse them with boiled water or contact your veterinarian. For hair care, you need to use special cosmetics. When choosing hygiene products, give preference to products that do not have a pungent odor and a minimum amount of synthetic additives so as not to provoke the development.